All right, hi. This time uh, we're going to do this snippet on FIFO, but we're going to um, put numbers in now. As you can see, I've added uh, the cost for each one, and I'm going to be switching between uh, a spreadsheet that I've created. You're welcome to create a spreadsheet like this if you'd like to. If you're good with spreadsheets, if you're not, I highly recommend getting good with them no matter what because they work and are very useful in, in college. We're going to start off with the beginning inventory here. We got our 10 rocks, two, four, six, eight, 10 rocks, and they are at $10 each. Okay. Now I'm going to go and share my screen and I'm going to zoom in. Should have done that to begin with. Oops, maybe a bit too much. There we go. Okay. So our beginning inventory, they're not purchases or cost of goods sold, but we have 10 units at $10 each. So our total cost in our inventory right now is $100. And yes, I'm a little bit kind of OCD when it comes to wanting these to look good, okay? So there we go. At the at beginning inventory, that's what we have, all right? So back to our rocks. Now we're gonna purchase our clear rocks to four, six, eight, 10 clear rocks at $11 each, okay? So let's go back to our spreadsheet. All right, the way this is kind of set up, it's hard to look. So on October 6th, we're gonna purchase 10 more units at $11 each. So what we're gonna do in the FIFO method is we're gonna restate our inventory over here. Let me make this look good. <clears throat> so, and, and I'm going to bold this part here like this so we know that that's that one. So we, we're gonna restate our inventory. We have 10 at 10 for $100 and then we're gonna have 10 at 11. There's our inventory. Now we could, if we wanted to, let me just do this. We could, we could, um, we could total them up here, just for the sake of knowing we have 20 units that have cost us a total $210, right? So on August 15th, Let's go back to the rocks. So on August 15th, we sold 12 rocks. We're gonna take from these first, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then two out of the second lock, because this is the first in, first out. Our beginning inventory was first, and then this one was our second one. So let's go back to the spreadsheet now. And on October 15th, and let me go ahead and insert some lines. We're gonna go ahead and sell 10 from our first lot and two from our second lot at $11 each. So our current cost of goods sold is 122 bucks. And look, we sold 12 units. And then what do we have left? Uh, we have zero from our beginning lot. And we have uh, 10 minus two is gonna equal eight. So we're, let's just do this, 10 minus two. And those ones were $11 each. So we have $88 left in our ending inventory. Let's go ahead and put a little line under them. And there we go. Let's go ahead, bull, uh, merge and center and make that go that way. And I'm doing this mainly for demonstration purposes because I want you to be able to see it. Um, let's stop sharing and go back to the rocks now. And then, so that's our sold. And then we're gonna buy 10 more rocks uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and these ones cost us thirteen dollars each going back to the spreadsheet 
and we're going to need two more lines. I already know I got to do that anyway. We purchased 10 more rocks at $13 each. So now we have, actually, let me add in another line. I want to demonstrate this clearly for you. We have zero at 10 from the first lot. It's gone. We sold it in the last time. We have eight at the 11 lot for that 88 bucks. And now we just bought 10 at 13 for 130. So now we're gonna add these up. We have 18 units left at a total cost of $218. I'm just gonna give me plenty of room here. All right, let's go back to the rocks now. So now we sell 15 rocks. First in, first out, two, four, six, Oh, where's my other little clear rock? He, he was over here. I must have forgot to count them. So we have 10. We have the eight rocks now here. Eight plus green, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15. So if you remember, if you watched the other snippet video, we had three green left under FIFO last time. So we're in good shape. Uh, we're doing it the same way. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. And we just sold on October 28th. I'm making it clear. Uh, we sold there. Um, we sold 15 units and we pulled eight from the clear. Well, let's let's do it. Um, let's do it up here. Eight at eleven. And then we sold um, seven from the 13 lot for a total of 91. So let's let's see what our sold 15 perfect and our cost associated with that was $179. That's gonna leave us. Let's go ahead and scroll up a little bit there. We have zero left of the 10 unit lot. We now have, we just sold all the eight of the eleven uh, $11 lot. We just sold them all. And now we have only three left of the 13 lot. For a total ending inventory, and I'm going to put that down here, three units at $13. Okay, my pictures, my screen's in the way. So that's our ending inventory. Now let's find out how many we sold. Remember, we sold 12 and 15, so we're going to add... This plus this for our cost of goods sold of this plus this. Oops. All right. So let's track this. What was our beginning inventory? I'm going to put beginning inventory over here for convenience. All right. What was What is our cost of goods available? It's going to be this one. Uh, these are all of our purchases and then our beginning inventory. So remember our purchases plus our beginning inventory is our cost of goods available. And let's find out how many units. You know, I'm just gonna do it like, well, no, I'm just doing this. Okay, so we had 30 units available for a total cost of $340. Now we should be able to add all of this stuff up to come up with 30 units and $340, so let's do that, okay? Um, ending balances, and then let's just do check figures. So let's add our cost of goods sold plus our ending inventory should also equal our cost of goods available. And the same with this one, oops, this one, plus this one. Look at that, we match up. So it works out, we're doing good. We got our uh, check numbers correct. Everything clears up. So that is the FIFO method of how to do this. Uh, if you have any questions, again, hopefully this really clears it up with the numbers and everything. But if not, 
let me know and we'll uh, see what we can do to help you out. I'll see you in another video.